Hi guys, this is Chewy and he is in for a full groom. He's had his bath, so he's all fluffed up, um, ready for it, looking hairy. Uh, we're going to take him nice and short today. He is a Shih Tzu, so we're going to give him a nice little round Shih Tzu head. As you can see, he's not very impressed, but he's a good boy. So just brushing him out before we clip, just to make sure we've got rid of all the tangles. Obviously, as you're clipping, you want to back brush as well so we will be still using the brush but this is just to make sure there's no tangles make sure the coat's nice and straight ready for cutting good boy chew he don't like it very much but him but he puts up with it so we're doing a 30 on the pads always very hairy so just making sure good boy not digging in just going around the edges i like to take a little bit more around the edges just to tidy it up a little bit Good boy, Chew. Always want to make sure you're getting the hair that's by the nails and under the nails, because that's the stuff that sticks through and makes it look quite untidy. Good boy. This one? Good boy. I know. Boy, chill. So his nails aren't looking too bad. I am just going to go in, double check, and just take the edges off. Good boy. This one. Good boy. Always want to make sure you're getting that jewel claw. That's the one that grows longer. Good boy. So it depends on the nail, but I like to go in. Just take a little bit off and then sort of judge it and if needs be take a little bit more off rather than going straight in and cutting a big bit off. Yeah, it's literally just the ends for him. Good boy. So we're doing a seven on him, owners like him nice and short. Just going in, starting at the neck. Good boy. And he's got quite a lot of loose skin, so we're just making sure to tug that skin up, make it nice and tight. Not harsh, it's not hurting him at all. Just making sure to leave a nice finish. Good boy. Go back in, back brush. Again, not dragging across the skin, doing it nice and gently. When you groom a dog, you are supposed to work from the head and then work down, down the legs and down to the bum. I personally don't do that. Um, I start from the back leg and work my way forward. It just, it's a me thing. It <laughs> helps me to, uh, you know, make sure I'm not missing anything. And it's just become a habit now. <laughs> At the end of the day, if get, as long as you're getting it all done, it doesn't really matter the order you do it in. Good boy. So you can see the difference. We can still go over that now and it's not really taking much off. If you back brush, it takes a bit more off look. So it's always have to back brush. You want to be careful, especially with a coat that's a drop coat. As you're working down the belly, you want to make sure you're definitely going with the lines of the coat, so the direction the coat's growing in. Otherwise you'll end up clipper lines. He's particularly got some bad, like it's quite hard to avoid the clipper lines in this coat sometimes. His coat grows quite weird. Good boy. So again, just not hurting him, just making sure to hold the skin tight for down here. Otherwise you'll end up with it not looking very tidy at all. Good boy, chill. If you do get clipper lines, you can go back into the coat with your thinning scissors, which are these ones, and just lightly sort of tidy up the areas that are looking a little bit liney. Good boy, Chew. Good boy. 
So on him, I do actually use a reverse four over his feet. I just find it leaves a bit of a nicer finish. Don't do it with all dogs, obviously, but for him, it just works a little bit better. Good boy. back down and we're gonna go in with our small curves good boy good boy just working around to the shape of the foot go in and just make sure I pull up between the toes because that's the bits that are gonna look untidy when they start to grow out if you don't take it that bit shorter you can see how much longer it is there that the clippers have missed Good boy, You're doing so good, chill. I like to check from the back as well, because quite often, like I said earlier, it hides like behind the nails. So it just lets you double check it. Good boy, chill. Another thing they always say is to do the hygiene area first. Some people do it before the bath. I personally don't. I don't really see, unless the dog's got mats between the pool pads. I don't really see the point in doing it before the bath. Good boy. But going in the ten now, hold my tail out of the way so we don't clip that off. Just doing a sanit sanitary area. Good boy. Hygiene, whatever you want to call it. Good boy, chill. And he does normally have a couple mats just in front of his hygiene area. I know, I know. Stand up, good boy. Well, today, it seems like he doesn't. But I'm going to clip that out anyway, just because I know that he does normally get the mats there. Just to prevent it next time. Good boy. Always want to take in front of here because it just gets so mucky otherwise. And... Good boy. I know, I know. Ooh, you're fine. Good boy. Tidy up the legs with the scissors. Good boy, I know. Again, a little bit of a difficult bit because he is quite small and bony, so I'm going to go in just a reverse four. So if you're using a reverse clipper blade, then it takes it two lengths. So this would be a four, and it would take it two lengths shorter if you're using it in reverse, so it takes it up to a seven, which is what we've been using on his body. Good boy. Just on the bony bits here, obviously being super careful, you don't want to go up like that because they've obviously got that skin flat there, that's one thing you don't want to do, so obviously being very careful, but always careful with the clippers anyway, good boy, skin with the seven, good boy, Always check in if your clipper blade is getting hot because you don't want to cause the clipper rash. One thing you don't. And uh, just making sure. Again, I'm going to go in with the reverse four here. On the belly. Good boy. And then go back in with the seven. You can do it all with the seven. I just personally think it's easier, quicker, and just leaves a better finish. Can you turn this way a little bit? Good boy. You can see where he's got his little rolls here, just making sure to pull them out of the way.
I do clip quite slowly, purely because I find the speed of the Heinegger clipper is, is quite a slow motor, so I find it does leave a better finish if you clip a little bit slower. Oh boy. I'm in no rush anyway. <laughs> Good boy. This one? Good boy. going to be putting up the non-commentary video version of this video because um, obviously these are quite new videos that I'm doing with the talkovers and I appreciate that some people might not like that some people might just like to you know have the music behind it and not listen to my voice rattling on but <laughs> trying some new things so I'll put both versions up and obviously feedback's always welcome so let me know going in with a 10 into the armpit being very careful this is obviously always the high friction areas. So if they wear harnesses, if, to be honest, generally that's a high friction area because it's obviously between the body and the armpit. So it's just prevent, helping to prevent those mats. Good boy, I know. Back in with four on the feet, reverse four on the feet. Good boy. Good boy. I know you don't like your feet done, do you? Good boy. I always find if you hold them, not tightly and you're not yanking it out, but if you hold them slightly round there, it just helps they rest the foot on your arm and it just makes it a little bit easier for everybody. Makes them feel a bit more secure as well. Isn't that right, Chew? Since I don't like you. <laughs> Good boy. Again, between the toes. I do find Shih Tzus have very ugly feet, so we do what we can. <laughs> <laughs> Shih Tzus and Cavaliers, they're the two. <clears throat> Good boy. down the leg just to give it a nice finish clippers obviously only do so much so you've always got to get in your scissors just to tidy things up especially when they're so small and you know legs are so small and they're a bit bony and got to get in there so we're going to turn him round can you turn you turn chewy chewy good boy good boy by specific feet trimmers which are the very small clippers like these they do a high nigger version I used to use them actually but I find they weren't as powerful as to they didn't clip very quick so I've actually gone back to these but if you're feeling a little bit obviously I've been grooming six years now so it's if you're feeling a little bit less confident sometimes the little ones are a bit nicer 
just because it gives you a little bit more control and that but personally I love I just use these ones now but good boy check your nails Are a groomer and you haven't yet got yourself one of these I definitely recommend one especially for these small dogs it just takes so much stress off your back and gives you so much more control and because otherwise I know he'd be at the back wall right now and I'll be bent over breaking me back trying to get to him so it is a uh, definitely worthwhile getting now this one was from groomers online website I think it was like 40 something pounds but I know a lot of other places do it as well but obviously I'm in the UK so it might be different if you're <laughs> watching in America but good oh boy chill And just following those lines down. Beautiful. Good boy. Sometimes you need to go over it, you know, three or four times just to get the nice finish. And if you have to, then that's what you've got to do, you know, but... Good boy. The blade is just starting to get a bit warm, so I use uh, a marble chopping board and put that face down, and it just cools it down a treat. But um, rather than just leaving it out on the side to cool down, I find it works a lot quicker. So you can use sprays. I do own some cool spray, but. It's just easy enough. If you've got spares, you should always have spare blades anyway. If you've got spare blades, then just pop that to cool whilst you uh, get on with it with a different blade. Good boy. I'm not yanking on the leg here, obviously. As a boy dog, they cock their leg anyway, so you're basically just putting them in that position. I'm hoping they don't win. <laughs> Good boy. But now nah, these two are super good. They've been coming, well, two. There's one over there as well. They've been coming to me for years now, so. You got it, haven't you, chill? So reverse four again on the feet. They've obviously got to be careful. You don't want to go up between the toes because then you can cut the dog in between where their feet, where the toes are. So um, just going over the top and using the brush to obviously pick up that hair so you don't have to go and dig into the toes. And just being careful obviously if they've got little jewels at the back. A lot of dogs don't, these don't, but always worth just keeping an eye on just in case. If you don't want that, do we chew? Obviously not getting too close to the skin when you do this because you don't want to be digging in and cutting into the into the leg there. Always clip that bit a bit shorter under there just to keep it nice and clean. Okay. And then we're 
I'm going to comb this all out. Again, they like the short tails, or shorter tails, <coughs> to um, sort of blend in with the coat a bit more. You don't really want to be, you've always got to take into consideration the, you know, the style of the coat. If you're taking the body short, you don't want to leave a massive head and a massive tail because it's going to look a bit ridiculous. But <laughs> So it's just blending it in a little bit more so it suits, suits the length that you're taking them to. Pulling all the hair down and cutting it off the end. And then you want to get all the hair. Some guys you've got to pull it down that way as well, just to make the hair fall a bit nicer. You want it to fall as natural as possible, so you don't really want to be like stretching it out and because they're not going to be doing that when they're walking around, and then I'm just going to follow it round. Good boy, Chew. Being super good because he doesn't normally like his tail being done very much. Good boy. <clears throat> Same on the other side. Again, if you're just starting out, you've got to be careful that obviously you're facing the scissors towards them. Last thing you want them to do is sit down so you can go out the other way and then back up but good boy I'm gonna thin down here to try and take away some of this puffiness good boy and go again let it fall you wanna keep you know rechecking these things because tail falls differently each time in that so Good boy. So when you're scissoring the foot, really you want to scissor it round to where the nails are. Especially, well, if you're doing a shortcut like this. And then go follow it round from there, making sure to obviously cut the bit at the back here, being careful that you're not cutting the pad. Good boy. And then round, we're just going to have a look here. Good boy. Good boy. So you can see how obviously the reverse four is the same length as the seven because it's nicely blended in. If it was shorter, longer, you'd end up with a silly little circle around the uh, bottom of the foot there. I know, sure. Good boy.
I just do sometimes very lightly skim just over where that stopper pad is just because otherwise it can bump out a little bit but not pressing hard obviously with the 7 reverse because then it'll take it 10 times shorter than what you want it good boy hang on And then back in with this dirty somewhere. Too much junk on the table. Good girl. Boy. Sorry. Good boy, chill. Right, can you all pitch you? You don't want to come out too far either side because then you end up with a massive fold patch on the on the coat, but just up in that bit where the skin sort of folds. Right. Good boy. difficult with these little dogs. The thing is, if they're turning your, their head towards you, then that then sort of makes the skin go even looser. If they're turning the other way, it's a bit tighter, so... You want to try and keep the head as straight as possible, really. Obviously, they're moving creatures, so <laughs> not very, not very easy sometimes. But he's pretty good. Gonna stand it up to do his belly. You ready? Up, up, up. Good boy. There you go. You got it. You see how much hair is under here that you'd miss if you want to stand them up on the small dogs. At least I hope you can see. Maybe not. There we go. <laughs> All that coming off that we would have missed. Good boy. Well, I wouldn't have missed it, but it would have been harder to get. There you go. Good boy. Right. Again, when you're scissoring down here, that's where the stopper pad is. So you don't want to be cutting that. So just be aware of where that is. Turning over the elbow. Good boy. Ideally, the foot would normally be, you'd be able to sit it around straight line. Obviously, with Shih Tzus, they tend to be a little bit <laughs> bogged foot. So it's, uh, do what you can and scissor it just so it's not, you know, things aren't sticking out and stuff. By no means am I the best groomer in the world. I do not think that at all. But <laughs> just... By making these videos, I hope that 
even if, if if you're in a position where you can't afford a dog room and you're looking to be able to do a, a groom a short groom on your own dog to you know last a little bit longer and even if i give somebody a bit of information that they didn't know before you know it's it's helping somewhat hopefully <laughs> or just entertaining it doesn't have to be for you learning anything bit of entertainment seeing a cute dog although he's not very impressed are you true you good boy right now i'm going to take this one down so we can do your face chew and your neck can you sit good boy there we go he does like to lie down so hopefully he won't <laughs> Whilst we do this bit. Sometimes it's easier to get that from the other side or the front when you're uh, on the front leg. I know. Good boy. Let's go forward a bit. Good boy. So when you get to the chest bone, I stop clipping, not on all dogs, but stop clipping there because the hair quite often starts to go in the other direction and then it'll take it obviously 10 times shorter. It does the same under the ear, but it's under the ear so it doesn't matter so much, but rosettes as they call it in a spaniel terms. Good boy. This dog has the longest neck <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I want to make sure I feel where the occiput is, so the occiput just behind the ears, and then I clip them there. Good boy. And then we're going to get the four, which would then take it to the same length as the seven, because obviously if it's coming back up, it's like reverse clipping, so it'll be similar length instead of taking it super short. So you can see there, we've not exposed anything too much. A little bit thinner there, but can't be out. Oh, good boy. So if in doubt, always do a blade or two longer and that way you can always go shorter but obviously you can always take them off but you can't stick it back on. The famous seven. And I'm going to go up under the chin. Sometimes they have a little flap there. He doesn't, well, he does a little bit, but just being careful that you don't obviously go straight up into the skin. Good boy. And he has a five on his head. I'm gonna brush out his ears first, just so they're all sorted. He normally has a few little tangles that we just thin out. They like to hang off each other's ears when they're playing, so <laughs> he normally comes off worse and has tangles in his ears. Boy. Put your hair up my nose even though I've got a mask on. Hey? Good boy. Obviously being careful where the flap is when you're thinning out. all the head make sure to get right under the ears moustache because obviously if there's a knot the clippers, are uh, the clippers will catch so don't want that 
Good boy. I'm going to go in with a 10 just by his eyes to open up because he suffers with quite a lot of, you can see there, obviously it was dry earlier, but he suffers with the teary eyes. So we just want to clear up, up as much as we can. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Right in there. Good boy too. Obviously not every dog will let you do this. He's particularly good. Good boy. You can see how much better that is already and we've only just done that. Good boy. Hair up my nose, chew. Right, let's have a look. So we're going to go in with the five on the top of the head, not too far down the ears because <laughs> you want it to blend nicely. So I start from the front here. It's not going to take much off, to be honest. Start from the front. Anything else you can do with a thinner after. Good boy. And then I always put the ear back. We want to get, we're going to skim the sides of the head with the brown peach. One thing with him is we can't take that much, that bit too short because it tends to leave him with a dodgy looking face. So we're just trimming up his face, leaving it a little bit longer than I normally would. Skim down the side with a peach, just gently. Don't want to go digging into the bottom of it because then you'll take the shape out. You want to be careful, obviously, some people are quite precious of the dog's eyelashes. Some people aren't. A lot of people are. So you just want to make sure if you think they'd like to keep them, <laughs> don't go shaving them off. Good boy. Push all that hair back. Anything that goes past the ear, I then use my chunkers to get rid of. Good boy. Work it around so you want to aim for a nice circular shape there. I'm just gonna put the camera up a bit so you can definitely see. <laughs> Might as well be talking to myself for nothing. Good boy. So you want it to curve around into a nice circle shape to the back of the ear. And then you can, some dogs, I go from the beard and do a little circle around, some dogs. I go straight in at the sides. Some dogs, we just go with it. <laughs> Good girl. Boy, why do I keep calling you a girl? It's because your sister's here. I know. Good boy. Oh, I'm just going to stop saying good girl. Good boy. So we've got a little long bit there. What a good boy. Like I said, normally I would be going in and taking some of that out, but it does leave him with a... A bit of a funny look, which then we have to blend in a bit more, which we don't want to do today. Take some of that down. Like I said, aiming for a nice circular Shih Tzu face. So, just taking bit by bit. Good boy. And we have to hold, we're not holding that bit tight, just holding it. Look, that's all I'm doing. Just to make sure that uh, you don't want them to suddenly turn and then have a scissor in their eyeball or etc. We don't want that at all, really. <laughs> so just gently holding. Keep him semi steady. Good boy. Telltale sign is always when you put the ear back down, leave him to look around for a little bit, and anything that comes over the eye, you just want to scissor back a little bit. Like that you can sort of see sticking out a little bit, so go back in, take a little bit more down. I'm about to invest in a pair of longer thinners at Crufts this year, which I can't wait for. <laughs> Good boy. Again, not going straight down because that creates square face. We don't want that. So just going, taking it round. Good boy. Round to the back of the ear. Good boy. Good 
boy chill quite likes this his eyes go and everything having a little snooze hey a little bit of that out but again not too much and you can see when he puts his head down he's got quite a bit of a fringe going on so i'm just going to go back in and slowly work that out a little bit not going to be perfect because he's got his little tear stingy bits but good boy still going to look cute aren't you yeah go back in i'm holding the very front of the beard you can see all that when you brush it down Make sure you're sitting all that out to leave a nice finish. What a good boy. Let's have a look at them. Trim the ears. Want to make sure you know where the flap of the ear is. So it's about there, but we're only going to trim them up anyway. Good boy. Do it up one more just so he doesn't put his head down too low when I got the scissors on there. Good boy, chill. you want to make sure the head's basically straight because if you start putting the head down you're going to end up scissoring when they put the head up the ear is going to go up so just making sure nice and straight from the front beautiful <coughs> Once you've done one ear, you can look from the front straight away and sort of see where to go in. What a good boy. So you can see slightly where that's just starting to come over the eye. I'm just going to go back in. Get that a little bit more and then last thing part my face over the beard a little bit just to thin it down i know good boy shh, 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 shh. don't like that bit do you chew? and then take this one off one thing you want to make sure oh, i say i keep saying this one thing there's many things but it's just making sure to get the back of the ear and where the head blends into the body like i said he has got the biggest neck in the world well the longest neck in the world so uh just blending it into that there we go we don't want to cocoa the clown look so Make sure the ears aren't sticking out too much. Good boy, Jew. Here he is, all ready to go. How did you? He says I'm not impressed. So I'll give him a little spritz of perfume. Good boy. And there we go. All done, how did you? You good boy? You say bye? He says not really. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.